All right, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Sorry for the delay, I had a bunch of, like, setup issues, like, e everything with Streamlabs just, like, I don't know, dropped itself off a cliff, so I had to reset it up. But it's okay, we're back up and running. Obsidian, what are you doing in party chat? Get out of party chat. Talk to Broca. Attend the funeral. How can I tell Broca we're missing the tools? I must find a way to ease Broca's sorrow and make him amenable to my wishes. Oh, you lied to me. You said you would save him. I said I would find him. That ain't my brother. Not anymore. What happened? Tell me. Everything. As I neared the village, I... I heard a great roar. Like that of a wounded bear. Soon after, I witnessed the final act of a mighty battle. Sindri beset by giants on all sides. It was he who made the godlike roars. He... He always did have a deep voice. He wielded his hammer and chisel with uncommon skill. Yes! Yes! I've seen him do it many times in the workshop! Giants lay strewn about, slain by Sindri's hand. <gasps> but then... One, of cowardly aspect, struck your brother treacherously in the back. Yet even as Sindri succumbed to the blow, he lobbed his chisel and struck the coward dead right between the eyes. Sindri did all that? So it will be written. I'll cut down that oak tree now Sindri's gone. Can't stand the sight of it without him here. Okay. Speak with the other guests. Uh, who is this? Where could they be? Is something wrong, Vesel? Everything is wrong. We're burying the greatest smith who ever lived, and we don't have his tools to put with him. I came across some at Aelthorpe. If you want, I can fetch... Those are just the spares. He never took his best ones from the shelter. I see. How is it that such valuable instruments have been misplaced? Misplaced? Don't be daft. Hidden, more like. By Sindri. To make sure no one else ever touched them. Particularly Brooker. Except now we can't find them. And you have no idea where they might be. Well, they're inside the shelter, I can tell you that. Well, they can't be too far. I wouldn't be surprised if they're somewhere up high. I thought dwarves were afraid of heights. Not our Sindri. He was quite the climber. Now me, well, I prefer to keep my feet on the ground right where they should be. Okay, um, who else is here that's still broken? Uh, is it? Yeah, that is him, right? Yeah. Now Brokker is all alone. How will he manage without his big brother to guide him? How can I talk with you when my heart has torn asunder? All right, off we go. I am very fond of the dwarves and their constant needs. It is exhausting. Oh, Loki, friend, betrayer. What I'd give for a moment of your guilt conversation. Even the lies. 
Missing for the old days, huh? I get it. Here, maybe? Finally, the tools of Sindri's trade. I must reunite these tools with Sindri's remains before the ceremony begins. I love this music. I don't know if, uh, Einar Selvig had anything to do with this deal, DLC's, um... Show me what lies ahead. It, uh, this soundtrack, but Jesus. <laughs> but to be honest, I, I just... I'm not a genius. He, he's great. He's great. He knows what he's doing. And even if it's, like, not entirely accurate to what Old Norse songs would be when it comes to translations, like, he, he really just hits the feeling. The disaster has been averted. Oh, now I see why some call you God. You're making me blush. Still, I have my moments. Heroes die, but not their legacy. Such was Sindri's courage that tonight he feasts in Valhalla, the first of his kind to ever do so. Evil he has come. Perhaps he can be of use. I'm here for the mead, not the company. You dwarves and your love of mead. It's caused me enough trouble already. It wasn't a dwarf who ransacked half of Jotunheim in search of some mysterious mead. <laughs> I wouldn't know anything about that. You know, old friend, now would be a good time for some grand gesture. Like what? A respectful speech from you. Sindri's greatest rival would surely... Ah, oh, fuck off. We must all make compromises. I can even give you the honeyed words. Time soothes the well of suffering. Brings hope that sees beyond chill death. Recasts the whirlpool of sorrow into the placid waters of the philosophic mind. Are those words for Sindri or Baldur? Baldur lives. Why would he need such words? Of course, of course. I, I, I didn't mean to... Well, you know. Fine, I'll do the speech. But it will be one of my making, not yours. We dwarves don't care much for poetry. Still, we can't set about making speeches until the torches are all lit up. Alright, I guess we're on torch duty. Who knows how long it'll take before the dwarves get around to lighting the torches. It'll be faster if I do it. King of the Gods just lighting torches for a bunch of dwarves for no reason other than to start a funeral. Wolves have saved a place for me. This is a great. 
great honor that they bestow. My brother, a true master, he was, uh, I did not like Sindri, and he did not like me. Still, he was good with the hammer, and the chisel, and the sword. And he knew how to work the bellows. Some said better than anyone. Even me. <laughs> Broker, your brother was a very fine smithy. I... I admired him greatly. Master Broker, you've given Sindri an excellent send-off. It's the least he deserves. But is it really true he feasts in Valhalla? It is. I saw it in a vision. Come, let's take a stroll. Now tell me, are you prepared to continue Sindri's good work? Helping Ivaldi was not my brother's work. But defying Sutor was. It's what got him killed. Greed for mead is what got him killed. It took courage to go after that mead. A direct challenge to Sutor's authority. This is crooked thinking. Seems straight enough to me. You know, I don't reckon I owe you a bloody thing. I risked my life to retrieve your brother's body. Now I prepare to risk it again. For you, and all of Svartalvein. Bollocks! You ain't doing anything out of the goodness of your art. I know what you're after. I know all about your lad Balder. I have ears, you know. Even in my grief. So... Don't pretend you're here for us, because I know- Would you have me abandon my own son, and strive only for your salvation? Okay, when you say it like that... I... Uh, I need time. I'm still grieving, you know? Let me think on it, alright? A little old think. He doesn't have that much time. Sutor is kind of committing a genocide against the dwarves. Said encourage, but we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Okay, what's Broker and Evaldi? Where'd they go? Uh, 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 hold on! Want to paint some 
of my uh, attractive uh, wares. Everything is half the price of yesterday. Half the price? That seems generous. Well, I doubled the prices yesterday to make a profit, but nobody bought anything. So, so half price. the price today. You haven't been doing this very long, have you? It's my second day. You've been doing this two fucking days? <laughs> Isn't there someone more experienced to show you the ropes? Nope. I saw a gap in the market and I went for it. Why? Aren't they doing a good job? No, no, it's it's not that. You think I'm awful? You do, don't you? <laughs> Is this a ploy to persuade me to buy something? Sounds Is like it. Working? <laughs> Is it working? Not really. I'm gonna sell some shit and then go talk to Broker and Invaldi. Oh, damn it. Go on. Goodbye for now. These are the finest tools you'll ever lay eyes on. Oh, God, are they the arguing? The finest? I forged better in my sleep. Yeah. Boys, Is boys. That why you Good to see you're getting along. So, broker, do you accept your duty? Don't have much choice, do I? Last thing I need is a godly smiting up me ass. <laughs> Let this be the start of a beautiful new friendship. <sighs> to study the Salakar, I'll need the very best of tools. Too bad this workshop is lacking. Bugger off! I got more stuff here than you can wag a finger at. Doubt it. <gasps> <gasps> if you find something you don't know how to use, just ask. <laughs> I'll be giving you lessons on how to use your Bickering own. Bickering dwarves. How unusual. Asa, you return. What? You deal with a fire nymph? Not this again. What news do you bring? My stepmother is stubborn. I cannot push too hard or she will grow suspicious. She has no interest in a trade. Interest, yes. But not yet the will. I don't understand. The Salakar is all but indestructible. You, on the other hand, are not. She assumes she'll catch me, kill me, and retrieve the Salakar. Time is on her side. Then I must strip her of this illusion. If I were to make a nuisance of myself, one that cannot be ignored. Sinmara prepares to lead my father's next major invasion. But if I were to disrupt her plans, it may force her to the bargaining table. Sounds risky to me. I once plotted and carried out the murder of Ymir himself. What do I care of risk? Well, since you put it like that... Where must I strike? At Af Alvat Milna. My stepmother develops a strange army. At Jofursmida, she breeds beasts of war. And finally, there's Rekathorp, her supplies hub. I'll deal with all three. In the meantime, I shall return to Etri. I will send word once my stepmother has become more... amenable. I'll return when I'm done. And I will expect answers regarding the Salakar. Okay, off to war we yeah. go. Let's get on with it then. Yes, you just follow my lead. Who put you in charge? You were once your brother's apprentice. Now you are mine. Apprentice? Are you having a laugh? This is my shelter Where? and my rules. Work. Then truly, we are doomed. Wait, where the hell is the actual door to this room right here? Oh my god.
Okay, so where are we headed? Down there, here. And over there. Lovely. Okay, so we'll... Let's go here. What about the safe? Is it just not working? Look at us just being an utter god. Probably, oh wait, no, the blacksmith was not available when I was in there. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to do that. Is this one of them right in front of me? It is. All right, off to war, boys. I'm getting back into it though. Through. Okay, so it 
seems like there's got to be a lot more of these most built bodies around. <laughs> Back and it hit the crate. Lovely. What are they doing over here? There's nothing there. What are you doing? I'm just having a little bit of a glitch out session. That's that's okay. Like how these things are basically like cast obsidian. It's kind of awesome. Stop doing it. All right, we're done here. I think.
One that's truly trusted And wants good to grow of your friendship Oh, is that smoke? What the hell is that? Oh shit. If you have another one that you mistrust, still you want to run it from here. Let's hit the basket. Oh, there are straight up sheeping. Holy shit. Might as well kill them all anyway. Okay, so I gotta go inland so we can come around to light right here. Let the sail out! Now is not the time. Strike of the tune. It's getting real foggy. Up we raise our shining blade. Oh, shit. 
Coming in for a landing scene. Still not sure how far inland I have to go. Are those seals are just rocks. Those are seals, oh my god. Apologize if you guys hear any thunder or anything, because it is pouring down right now outside. I can hear it. You guys might not be able to hear it. is heavily guarded. Time to just sneak around and snipe people. saw me. Nobody saw me. Okay, I guess he did.
Burn the schematics. Uh, is that here? Village Yorms Frida? Is, is this Yorms Frida? Yeah, it is. Calmly jog out while there's a bunch of screaming. Exactly know how to get up there. Oh, damn it. No, 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 no. Shit. That's got nothing to do with anything that I might want. Never mind.
downstairs. Try it downstairs. Piggies. Once Boulder is free, he and I shall feast on the roasted flesh of these mighty pigs. Now Sinmara will negotiate with Boulder for the Salakar. And then, together, he and I will steal it back. All right. Pride of the Aesir. Lovely, Only lovely. The wolves have gained an understanding of the Salakar's true use. My future Ragnarok is inevitable. To avoid it, impossible. But if there's one thing I know, impossible is impossible. Okay, so where are we headed? We're headed back to the shelter. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, when we return, we'll head back to the shelter. Uh, speak to Baldur, uh, not to Baldur, uh, Ivaldi and Brucker. <sighs> Excuse me, and see what they've learned. But until then, I thank you so very much for watching. If you're on YouTube, please like, comment, subscribe. Twitch drop me a follow if you haven't already, and I will be back in a moment.